My first memory of catching that first wave imprinted on me. And I think every surfer gets that feeling of seeing the world differently. And your life changes in that moment. You know, for me, there was more to surfing than just catching waves. I always look at what surfing had to offer below the surface. Getting that wave and riding through that tube of water that shot out the end like you're being shot out the end of a cannon. It's the sensation of just being in control and connected to the environment, connected to nature. But I always felt that there were fundamental lessons that surfing could teach you about life and certainly taught me about life. This is the Banzai Pipeline in Hawaii, the single most dangerous wave in the world. Every year, one, two guys die at the Banzai Pipeline. And for me, this wave was always the ultimate challenge. When you actually get out there and you realize how radical it is, how dangerous it is, how awe-inspiring it is, and I paddled for those waves and I pulled back and I couldn't get myself to commit to that drop. I put my head down and I took three more strokes and that single wave changed my life. Because once I made the commitment, once I took the extra strokes, once in my mind I knew I was going to go over that edge, all the fear went away. I'll take the drop with commitment. And then if something goes wrong, I'll paddle back out. I take off. And as I take off, I think, man, I got this. Next thing, my board goes airborne, I free fall, and I bounce. Boom, boom, boom. And I have to make that, that decision. Like, what do you do? Attitudes are a fundamental choice in life. There's nothing more important in life than a positive attitude. It's amazing how this simple concept of doing something good comes back to us. I do two things. One is I give a, a simple perspective of my life, a perspective of a life that's been lived with passion and purpose, a perspective of a life that's been stoked. I've been stoked, man. Everyone realizes that while they are all different, we all want the same thing. We all want to connect with others. We want to love and be loved. We want to be kind. We want to be successful. We want to be happy. And I think the more of us that do something good for nothing, the better this world will be. I went home and I picked up a sheet of paper. And in 30 minutes, I wrote 12 lines, every line beginning with, I will. And I called it the surface code. You're going to write 12 lines. Every line begins with, I will. It's your code. I will what? So when people share their code, they share their essence. They share their internal power. They share their psychic energy. It creates a wave of positivity, a wave of hope, a wave of optimism, a wave of commitment. That what if has to be scrubbed from your existence. Want to break through the fear? Take strokes towards that fear. You have to just take that drop with absolute commitment. It gives me that hope and it gives me that optimism and aspiration and fire. And we all have this unbelievable power to create transformation in others. Just giving in this little code. Write your 12 lines. That's your path. That's your power.